whether you are a data engineer data analyst software engineer or aspiring to be one your job is about to change more in the next two years than it has in the last 10 years and i'm not talking about being replaced i'm talking about elevating your skills with ai and once you do the salary difference is staggering companies are paying 30 to 47 percent more for data or software professionals who have ai in their portfolio or in their skill set we are seeing a median salary of about three hundred thousand dollars in the us which is 50 percent more than a regular or traditional software engineer and obviously companies like OpenAI, Meta, Anthropic putting the ceiling to absolute top. We have seen offers of 1 million or more than that in recent news. Not just that, in India demand for AI professionals have surged 40% year over year. Now you might be thinking that's great for AI engineers but I'm a data engineer or a data analyst or a software engineer. How do I get started with AI? I get it because that's how I started. I started my journey at ZS as a data engineer where I built foundational data pipelines that businesses run on and then when I moved to Google, uh, my scale of operating pipelines just changed a lot. I was working on one of the most sophisticated data systems in the world. And after about a year in Google, I saw a shift that most of the impactful and most important projects had AI components in it. So I didn't switch careers completely. I evolved from a data engineer to AI engineer at Google and right now I'm a senior software engineer working on AI systems at DoorDash. My journey is a living proof that the line between data engineering and AI engineering or any other field of software engineering is kind of blurring and sooner rather than later you will have to upskill in AI. There was a recent survey done and let me tell you the numbers because they are interesting. 67% of engineers no matter what field they are in they believe that AI is reshaping their roles and 85% of engineers thought that AI is no longer optional. So the need is clear, but obviously the path isn't. When you open Coursera or YouTube and type in artificial intelligence, you will see thousands of courses and tutorials. But there's a disconnect between desire to learn and knowing what to learn. And that's why I made this video. I deeply vetted 20 plus top AI engineering courses which are out there. I filtered out the noise, the academic only theory, and also the outdated courses to give you what is absolute best, which is the most direct path for a tech professional to be job ready with AI skills. So what I've created is a five course blueprint. While rating these courses, my criteria was simple. Job readiness, does it teach the tools and the skills that show up in job descriptions right now? Portfolio power, does it include hands-on projects you can actually put on your resume and talk about in an interview? Return on time, does it provide the maximum value for every hour you invest it. First up is the absolute foundations. Before you write a single line of code, you need to learn absolute basic stuff and everything about the landscape out there. And that's why I recommend Andrew Ng's AI for Everyone course on Coursera. Think of this as the strategic briefing for your AI journey. It's not theoretical. You won't be building models. Instead, you'll learn what AI can realistically do for a business. You'll understand how to spot opportunities for AI, how to work with an AI team, and how to navigate ethical considerations as well. It's short, it's clear, and it makes you smart enough and gives you enough vocabulary to talk with anyone about AI, so don't skip this. Now, the next skill is actually one of the skills that did not even exist two to three years back, but now it's one of the most essential ones, which is prompt engineering. Now, my pick here for this is a gem from deeplearning.ai, chat GPT prompt engineering for developers. This course is in partnership with OpenAI, meaning OpenAI has directly contributed to this course. As an AI engineer, you're not building models. You are finding a way for AI systems to interact with human. And the most essential way that humans interact with AI systems is prompt. So they have to be as effective as possible. You learn principles like writing clear instructions, giving model the reference text to reduce hallucination, and using techniques to get structured output like JSON, for example. They talk about different sections, like summarizing, transforming, inferring, chatbots, etc. Also, each section of the course has code samples along with just instructions. So you can DIY using different LLM APIs. All right, so the course number three, if there's one course on the list that I believe will give you most amount of skills and the most foundational path possible, for you to be AI ready and also get a job in that field, it's this one. You'll master OpenAI API, deep dive into prompt engineering, learn to leverage Hugging Face ecosystem, understand different LLM concepts, and crucially work with embeddings and vector databases like Pinecone. Now, vector embeddings, for example, it sounds really complicated, but it's actually very simple and beautiful. How does an AI system understand the meaning of a word? 
it's through embedding. And embedding is just a list of numbers in a 3D vector space that preserves the word's meaning and context. And words with similar meaning will have similar list of numbers. Vector databases like Pinecone, Quadrant, these are the databases that help you store these vector embeddings efficiently in a database system. It's like giving your AI the capability to do, for example, a Google search. So if you search for what should I wear in cold weather, it would surface documents that have winter jackets written in it even though you did not use the word jackets in your original search query. The embedding databases is like the skill behind RAG or agentic RAG that you might have heard about. It even finishes with Langchain. Langchain is the framework that makes you go from just chatting with AI to building powerful data aware applications. The course teaches you two critical concepts, chains and agents. Let me quickly explain what it means. Chain lets you link multiple steps together in a sequence. For example, step A, take user's question. Step two, use LLM to rephrase it into perfect database query. Step three, run that query in your database, find the right documents. And step four, use LLM again to format the result into a natural language answer. An agent is even smarter. Instead of giving a defined set of steps, you're giving agent just the idea of, okay, these are some of the things you can do. And then you're leaving it to the agent to make those decisions that whether should I call this tool or should I call this tool based on the user query. So it's even smarter. The best part, the hands-on projects, you'll build chatbots, recommendation engines, and semantic search tools, exactly the kind of projects that make a hiring manager's eyes light up. This track is the fastest, most efficient way to translate your existing skills into demonstrable high value AI engineering portfolio. Okay, so let's compare learning AI with learning how to drive a car. So with course two, for example, with prompt engineering, you knew how to work with steerings and pedals. The last course that we talked about gave you something like a GPS and a destination using Langchain and agents. So that will help you build apps, right? It will make you go from point A to point B. So you are now a competent driver. You know how to handle steering wheel, pedals, how to go from point A to point B. But to be a pro, you have to look at what's under the hood of the car which is the engine. And that's why my fourth pick is Andrew NG's deep learning specialization. This course gives you the blueprints for that engine. It doesn't just show you the finished product. It has you assemble it piece by piece. You will learn what a neural network actually is and how a transformer engine works for language, how a convolutional engine works for vision. Why does it matter? Because a driver can follow the road, but a mechanic can listen to the spotter, diagnose the problem and tune the engine to its peak performance. So when your AI model gives you a weird result, you should know what kind of algorithm it uses in the backend to be able to customize or optimize it. All right, so now in final course, I want to talk about uh, a different path of a course. So if you're coming from a data analysis or a data science background, then I recommend taking this course. This path is something like it meets where you are. So it starts with machine learning fundamentals that you're likely familiar with using scikit-learn, but rapidly accelerates. You'll deep dive into deep learning with PyTorch, learn about different concepts like explainable AI, and get hands-on experience with fine-tuning models like Llama 3. Most importantly, it bridges the technical gap between modeling and production by teaching software engineering principles that data scientists often miss, like version control, automated testing with PyTest. This course is designed to make a great modeler or a great data scientist into a great AI engineer. And if you notice, it's not just a random list of courses. It's a proper guide to start with high level, go deep into building stuff and go even deeper by understanding the fundamentals. I've put all the links that I mentioned about in the description, so don't forget to check it out. And if you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel because that really helps me out a lot. And if you have any questions, let's talk about it in the comment section below. I try to read a lot of the comments as much as possible. So yeah, it will be a good discussion. And that's it from my side. See you next time.